So I think everybody's used these MB102 um, breadboard power supplies before. Um, nice handy little devices. Lots of videos on YouTube on, on how to use them, so I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, but I had uh, I had the misfortune of, of blowing one of mine up. So I was using this for a um, project with one of these variable power supplies. Now I quite like these, they're, they're quite versatile. Unfortunately, I managed to um, catch the adjustment knob, wind the voltage up way above the 12 volts that I actually needed, and uh, I managed to burn out the regulators on the board itself. This is a, a picture of one of the um, regulators after I'd taken it off the board. Uh, was it necessary to repair the board? Not really, they're as cheap as chips, but I thought it'd be an interesting exercise to have a look at. And uh, So I, I ordered some regulators and uh, I went to replace them on the board. Now this isn't the board that was damaged, this is a, a, another board that I had, uh, so I hasten to add that this is not indicative of my uh, soldering. My soldering isn't brilliant, but it's, uh, it's a lot better than this. So these will all have to be retouched, it's actually a new board, but it's easier to explain what's happening if you can see a, a board rather than one that was faulty. So I did a bit of uh, investigation on the board and attempted to reverse engineer it, and this is what I came up with. This is my um, my circuit diagram of, of what's going on on the board and it'd be handy if we could actually see the board itself while we went through the circuit and I explained to you what I think is going on. So what I'm going to do is actually stick an image of the board down here. It'll hide the uh, the negative line or return path, whatever ground, whatever you want to call it. But that shouldn't be an issue as long as we remember that's what this is, that's the negative line to the, um, to the power supply. What we've got is V supply coming in through this switch which is a, a double gang switch so we've got a, a switch contact here and a switch contact here and obviously as the switch is operated we'll open or close those switches simultaneously. With this large component here which is uh, an M7 diode and I think the M7 diode is just there to uh, provide reverse voltage protection on the input for the board. So looking back at the main circuit diagram again then we have the voltage supply coming in through the switch, um, through the M7 diode and through a decoupling capacitor, this one in the middle. And then goes to the input of the 5 volt regulator which is on this pin, got earth here and the output of the regulator in the middle. So having a look at the um, output of the regulator which is coming off the middle pin is going via the switch and then charging up the electrolytic capacitor and supplying the voltage for the green LED and its ballast resistor which are here and here on the board. We then got another decoupling capacitor, the one here on the on the left on the input to the 3 volt regulator. And uh, we have the 3 volt regulator, a 5 volt regulator and as you can see the 3 volt regulator is getting its input from the output of the 5 volt regulator which is quite interesting because the 5 volt regulator, which is supplying, it's obviously the 5 volt pins, is also supplying the input to the 3.3 volt regulator, which is a, a bit of a concern because you're now limited to the 1 amp current carrying capacity of the 5 volt regulator. Um, instead of being independently supplied, the 3 volt, 3.3 volt regulator is dependent on the 5 volt regulator. So if you're using both voltages, you're still limited to a maximum of one amp of current that you can draw, which is quite a lot, I suppose, for something on a motherboard project. But um, yeah, coupling the uh, the output of the five volts to the input of three volts is probably not the best thing. There's another uh, decoupling capacitor, this one on the right, and then you've got the output to the various pins on the board. So what happened with my board then? Uh, I replaced these regulators and it still didn't work, which was a little bit sad. Um, but a bit more investigation showed me that there was a uh, a break in the in the feed line through to the 5 volt regulator from the diode so I'd managed somehow to uh, to burn this track out or a, a point on this track between the diode and the uh, 5 volt input uh, for the regulator so I just shorted it with a piece of wire and hey presto that seemed to sort it all out. Was it important to sort out a board? Not really but it was an interesting exercise and I hope you enjoyed it.